everyone, what's up, and welcome back to another video in Mono Sports Talk. So, in this video, we're going to be again continuing to recap the NFL's all decade team from 2010 to 2020, and we're going to be ending it here in this video with the special teams. So, here we're going off with the special teams. We're going to be talking about the punters. Again, these guys are very important, and there are only a select few that could have made it into this, and these two are pretty obvious that they'd come in. First one is Shane Leckler, a veteran punter has been around pretty much a whole decade, most notably with the Houston Texans, and uh, just a reliable punter you know you can trust, and uh, had to be in here, has been delivering it for many years, and easy choice. But by far the easiest one was punter Johnny Hecker, who is by far the best punter we've seen in this past decade, has been playing for the St. Louis Rams and for the LA Rams, and has tremendous kick power, can, I mean, kick it really far, has really good skill, has many talents, and can pin the opponent deep, and um, he has really good throwing uh, ability too, like, the Rams do a lot of fake punts, and he throws the ball extremely well for a punter, and that's a big asset, and that's what makes him really great. So those are the punters, and I'm going to be talking about the kickers. So the two kickers... The unanimous decision for one of the kickers was Justin Tucker from University of Texas. That was a pretty easy decision. Justin Tucker, you know, most, one of the most reliable kickers we have and is um, has one of the highest extra point percentages in the league. I think it's around like 92%, so really good. Um, he never, I think he's only missed like one extra point in his t entire career, so really impressive. Maybe two, but yeah, really impressive. Really great in the clutch and has tremendous kick power and accuracy. He can kick it from like 60 plus, you know, and can drill it. So, pretty easy for him. And then Steven Gostowski is going to be the other kicker on the All Decade team from the New England Patriots. Considered Mr. Reliable or Mr. Consistent. He uh, continuously makes field goals with accuracy and power and generally won't let the team down, although he saw. In the Super Bowl 51, you know, he missed some extra points and some field goals. But um, overall, a really good kicker throughout his career and unfortunately has been released by the New England Patriots uh, uh, this past year. He had an injury, so he didn't play. But a really good kicker who you can trust to make important kicks uh, whenever you need him. So those are the two kickers and two punters. Very limited choices, and those two were pretty easy to make. And now we're going to be talking about, I guess, maybe more of the fun part, like the um, players that who maybe have more plays that people like to see, find it more entertaining to see. We're going to be talking about the punt returners and kick returners. So for the punt returners, we obviously had to include the cheetah, Tyreek Hill. Really easy to include him. Every time he touches the ball, he could just take it all the way for a touchdown. You have to kick it out of bounds when kicking it to him. He's just too fast. He's Olympic uh, speed, you know, track speed, and can just turn it on whenever he wants to and just breaks holes like it's nothing. So really dangerous. has been in the league for probably more of the second half of the decade, but has made such a big impact with the Kansas City Chiefs. It's just, you know, really ridiculous. And now he's turned into, you know, a full almost number one receiver type guy. So... Really impressive for Tyreek Hill. Just really the speed is unprecedented. And then we also have Darren Sproles. I talked about him in the uh, offense video. He was in the flex running back position. I mentioned he did like many different things. He's a multi-use running back. And he does uh, punt returns. And, you know, is really, really elusive in the open field. Can make guys look silly. I already mentioned all of this. And um, just like... Has had great had great speed when he was in his prime, and you know, um, just very elusive. You know, he can break anything out of nothing. You have to just get the ball in his hands. And I feel like he needs to be appreciated more. He was with the Philadelphia Eagles, New Orleans Saints, maybe with another team, but those who are predominantly in his career. And um, just a really great running back. Uh, just multi-use running back can pass. He can run it now. Fun returning and. He had to be on this all-decade team. So those are the two punt returners, and now let's see their highlights. So here's the punt. 
Deep punt back to the five. Tyree Kill is going to take it. No fair catch. Breaks a tackle. There's some room with blockers in front. Tyree Kill down the sideline. Stays inbounds. Tyree Kill all the way. Touchdown. Two kick returners. We have the, I would say, the more legendary status guy. Obviously, he has, he has retired, and that's why I think that. But we have Devin Hester, the ultimate kick returner. Just has a knack of returning kicks for touchdowns. Just can do it so many times, you know. Has been in the biggest stages of the Super Bowl as well. The speed is crazy. The agility, uh, the level of elusiveness is just all very high for Devin Hester. And just get the ball in his hands and he'll make a play, you know. They use him in offense too, especially for the Chicago Bears. And he played for the Atlanta Falcons. Devin Hester, we knew he had to be on here. Everybody knows him who watches the NFL as a specialist and the special teams kick returning. So pretty easy decision for him to come on here. And then Cordero Patterson has made such a big impact in the second half of this decade with the Minnesota Vikings. Had the longest kick return in NFL history, 109 yards from the back of the end zone. Really impressive. Teams need to find a better way of using Cordero Patterson. I think the Patriots... You know, found a way to use him as a better wide receiver, you know, on jet sweeps and other things. The Vikings never really used him, but uh, Cordero Patterson sh still showed off his kick return uh, abilities when returning kickoffs. So we got to see that ability again, the speed. You know, he reads the holds really well. I think that's what really makes him special. Um, he's now with the Chicago Bears, I think, but... Um, just a really great uh, kick returner. I think he did one. He did one last year against the uh, New Orleans Saints with the Chicago Bears. So he just does it pretty much a lot. He has many kick returns, and those two were the pretty obvious ones for this decade. So those are the two special teams. So that pretty much wraps up the special teams. Now let's see their highlights before the video's over. And here's the kickoff of the Super Bowl. There's Devin Hester at the five yard line returning it. Makes a move. Oh, he has room. Devin Hester. He's going all the way. Touchdown on the opening play of the Super Bowl. Chicago Bears. Amazing. And here's the kickoff to start the game. It's a deep one into the back. Patterson didn't take a knee here. He's going to come out. Find some room. Makes a move. Breaks some tackles. There he goes down the sideline. Can Crosby tackle him? No, he can! Cordero Patterson all the way on the opening kickoff for a touchdown. That wraps up the special teams video. Hope you enjoyed, I guess, this three-episode series of recapping the NFL All-Decade team. And if you haven't seen the other previous two, the link should have popped up earlier in this video at the beginning. I have the defense one, which I did, and then the offense one earlier on. So be sure to check those out and to get everything you need to know about the All-Decade team. And all my viewpoints and stuff about the other players. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please go down and hit the like button. Uh, uh, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'll be coming out with some NFL Draft content. I already mentioned that because the NFL Draft is coming up on Thursday. So, really excited for that. And I'll be doing my mock draft and who I think will be going in the first round. So, stay tuned for that by enabling notifications. Um, so once again, hope you enjoyed and uh, see you in the next video and have a great day.